Welcome to Yandere Chan's characters. Now we're up to the second part, which is the main, basically even main characters that will be wanting. All the characters that will be there. Only a few, so this will be short. But look at this. The part is male, and then turn into a female. So here we go. Senpai, of course, is a student, single, is a status, week zero he will appear, so he will be in straight away, his personality type as male is friendly and respectful, and weakness is unknown just yet, as a girl he is friendly and respectful, he's the same, so it depends on here we go. The Japanese word senpai refers to someone who has seniority, seniority of someone else or something. For example, if you are the f a first year student and second year, all second and third years students are your senpai. If you start working at a new job, any co-worker who has been employed at the workplace longer than you is your senpai. In Yandere Simulator, the title of senpai is given to the young male or young female that the protagonist is influated with. The player is given the option of choosing senpai's gender at the beginning of the game then they might be called they might be senpai kun or they might be senpai chan if senpai is a male he will be called he is named taro yamada if she if she is a female her name is taiko yamada or with Yamada. Over the course of the school year, 10 different girls will fall in love with Senpai. What if it's a girl? Will it be a kid, or boys or will it become lesbians? So it's just really weird. Ah. There is a myth at the school that if you a girl confesses her love to a boy under the cherry tree behind the school on Friday, the two will fall, oh, the two of them will f love each other forever. Every girl who falls in love with Senpai plans to confess at 6pm on a Friday. If there is anyone, if anyone wants to keep Senpai all to herself, she has until 6pm on Friday to eliminate the competition. Senpai, Senpai, Senpai. Still nothing changes. I'm wondering, yeah, if you, because if you can change gender, will it mean that be like different, like big brother, big sister, actually? Hey, don't know what I just did. Um, hey, yarn. Dare is not coming up. Oh, get out of the way, Dare. Oh, that's Jerry. Oh, that's Yarn. Okay. I'm going to keep it with that. That's really cool. Role. Student. Status. Protagonist. Personality. Love. Sick. Appearance. Weak. Zero. Weakness. Obsessive. Ayano Aishi. Ayano Aishi. Aishi is the protagonist of Yandere Simulator. She is known as Yanchan, the players of the game, as he has been the cute sounding, as they've given the cute sounding nickname Yanchan by her classmates. For the majority of her life, Ayano was completely incapable of feeling emotions. She learned to pretend to be a normal person in order to avoid disturbing people. But she is unable to feel any degree of empathy towards other humans, be beings, other human beings.
On the first day of her second year of high school, Ayano comes to into physical contact with Senpai. In that moment, she suddenly begins to experience powerful sensations that she had never felt before. Emotions. Meeting Senpai was like seeing colour for the first time, hearing music for the first time, and feeling warmth for the first time. When she approached him, she felt overwhelmed with empathy. And when she is away from him, she feels only emptiness. Within a very short span of time, she quickly becomes absolutely complete to him and came to rely on him in order to feel alive then almost as soon as he had entered her life. Iono saw something that threatened to steal Senpai from her. It was a young woman who clearly had deep feelings for Senpai. If Senpai entered a relationship with this girl, then Ayano might lose him forever. Without a minch, a moment's Without a moment's hesitation, Ayano knew exactly what had to be done. This girl, her rival, had to be eliminated as soon as possible. By any means necessary, no matter what the cost. That is a very discreet look at that. Yan Dere Chan or Yan Chan. Dere is like so innocent and then <laughs> I've just killed people. Okay. Now I've got these two. You may have seen Ginka Kua Kuahito, but you have not really met Kocho Shaya Shayona. Okay. The role is headmaster. Status faculty. Personal personality world weary. Is appearances of of course like one weakness is nothing. Kocho Shuyon Shuyo Shuyoa Kuchu Shuyona is the headmaster of Yandere Town School. He is 59 years old and he has held the position, the same position since 1985. That's a long time. 2007. And 2089. Uh, this is what it looks like in 2089. And this is what he looked like in, looked like in 2017. He looks really different. Okay. When the pro prestigious school first opened its doors. At the beginning of, of his career, he was a cheerful, optimistic, energetic young man who was full of hope for the future. However, over a course of his long term Tuna, tuna, tunery. His demon, his demeanor, demeanor has changed drastically. He's become a crying, a psychic, psycho, pessimistic. I don't know how to say these. World weary old man who seems to have completely no faith, lost his faith in the world except its youth, especially its youth. What happened over the course of the past few decades to change this man is such drastic, in such drastic ways? What, re what regrets does he live with? What kind of dis discussion will he make now? Decisions will he make now? At the end of his career, now that he has little to lose. He does look like one of those. He was really happy, really enthusiastic, and then he came to. A world shape like that. It's just weird. Hey! Right. Ginka! 
Kuahito is the guidance counselor at Yandere Chan School. You can't really interact with her apart from when you want to buff someone. But yeah. In addition to helping students deal with problems, oh, guidance counselor, faculty, strict disciplinary, we zero none. Hey, no weaknesses. In, in addition to helping students deal with personal problems, giving in, students advice on what college to apply for, and helping students decide what career to pursue, she's also responsible for administrating punishments to students who break the rules. If a teacher is caught, if a teacher catches the player breaking school rules, the player will be sent directly to the guidance counselor, where they will have to explain the actions or face a harsh punishment. Ginka is strict, disciplinary, but she has been known to mercy to students who can provide a responsible explanation for their behaviour. The player can weasel out of a punishment by de deceiving Ginka with a lie. But if the player is sent to the guidance counselor too often, Ginka will stop believing the player's lies. Japanese schools do not have detention. Ginka will punish the player by suspending them from school for a period of time. That is directly pro proportional to the severity of their misbehaviour. Ginka's mother served as the school's guidance counsellor for 30 years, beginning in the 80s. Wow. Oh.